What's going on, guys, and welcome back to another series review, second of the day. So, Tampa Bay and Toronto. I, I, I kind of spent a little bit of time thinking where I was going to go with this video prior, which is something I don't usually do, because this is obviously one of the, a, a momentous event. So, Tampa wins in seven. Toronto loses in seven for the fifth year in a row, become the first team in MLB, NBA, or NHL history to do so. They've lost in the first round six years in a row. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Count 2013 in there is the same era because Morgan Riley, I'm not sure if he was part of that team, but uh, he was in the system at that point. Haven't won a series since the summer before I was born. Haven't been to the final since 67, where they won their last cup. I don't really know what to say for Toronto. So we'll look at the we'll look at the games. Game one in Toronto, since Toronto won home ice advantage. Toronto wins five to nothing. I was shook. I was worried for my bracket because I had Tampa in seven, which also worked out, so two for two yesterday. And um so yeah, and then Tampa responds with a 5-3 win, but I honestly thought, even though uh, Tampa was up 5-1 at one point, Toronto staged a comeback late and made it 5-3, and I thought Toronto just played better. Game 3, Toronto wins 5-2. At this point, I thought Toronto should have been up three games to none. Tampa was playing awful. Vasilevsky did not have a good game in the series until Game 7, which is something he tends to do. And then Game 4, Tampa wins 7-3, which is the first game that I think they genuinely deserve to win. Game 5, Tampa deserved to win that game. They were up 2 nothing. They blew that lead. They were and they um were they up were they up 3-2? Uh, I don't no, they weren't up 3-2. Cuz that was the one uh, they 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 went I don't remember. But Toronto wins that one 4 to 3. And they have a 3-2 series lead, just like 2019, just like last year. Um and Game six, just like last year, they lose in overtime. Uh, Tampa had a two nothing lead as well, just like Montreal did. Toronto came back and, for and forced overtime. Tampa wins in overtime four three, and I was jumping around thinking, "Wow, Tampa has a chance to win Game seven. Game seven, Tampa wins two to one. Nick Paul two, Toronto one. This you didn't feel as rejuvenating. Oh, whoops. Didn't feel as rejuvenating. Didn't feel as uh, soul quenching. Seeing Toronto lose. When Toronto lost, I usually was laughing, feeling happy. This year, not really. The goals scored in the series, twenty-four to twenty-three, in favor of Toronto. Toronto had more goals in the series, and they lost. Point scores in the top 50 of the playoffs. Toronto, 5. Tampa, 4. Matthews leads the team, 4 goals, 5 assists, 9 points. Martyr, 2 goals, 6 assists, 8 points. Nylander, 3 goals, 4 assists, 7 points. Tavares, 3 goals, 3 assists, 6 points. Riley, 3 goals, 3 assists, 6 points. For Tampa, Kucherov, 2 goals, 6 assists, 8 points. Hedman, two goals, five assists, seven points. Polov, three goals, two assists, five points. Colton, three goals, two assists, five points. Nick Paul is not on the list here. Steven Stamkos is not on the list. Braden Point is not on the list. He he also left in, in the first period because he, I believe, hyperextended his leg. I don't know what to tell Toronto. I've watched the Hockey Guys video. I've watched Steve Dangle's video. I don't know what to tell them. What they should do, not blow it up. There are things that people were saying blow it up last year. I, I knew it was a good idea not to. People are going to call for the blow up of it this year. Matthew Stewart scored 60, you know, at over 100 points. Marner had 97 points. I don't know what you can make better about this team. The be arguably the best team in Toronto's history. And they couldn't get out of the first round. They are now 0-9 in series-clinching games. 
back, I had to break the awkward silence. Um, yeah, Tampa wins the series in seven. Looks great for my bracket when I said Tampa in seven. I did it for the memes, and to be honest, I didn't actually think... I thought Tampa was going to win the series. I didn't think it'd be in seven. I also had made a second bracket, as I said. If Toronto wins the series, I think they win the cup. They don't. They don't win the cup. They don't win the. They don't win a round. As much as funny as it was last night, it's really not funny right now. I don't know what else this team can do, and I'm just going to congratulate Tampa. You won nine series in a row, getting closer to the Islanders' 19 series in a row. They set from 80 to 84. But yeah, you only it's probably the only team on the only series where the losing team outscored the opponent. And to be fair, they should have been up three games to none. Tampa play played better in game four, five, and six. And game seven, Tampa would have won. Would you rather, t- Leafs fans? I'm gonna ask you a serious question. If you're if, if you're even watching, would you rather have been up three games to none and re- reverse sweep, or would you rather this? I would rather this. However, that's probably not how the series should have went, but by the grace of the hockey gods, you had been mercy. Um, from a, if, if a reverse sweep happened, I, I can't even imagine what Steve Dangle would have done. But, um, yeah, that's really all I have for you guys in this one. One more series of you to do, L.A. and Edmonton. I'm kind of running out of stuff to say on this. Words can't really describe <laughs> the moment, the the issue that's issues that Toronto has. Probably maybe I'll do a video over the summer looking back at Toronto's failures since '04. Probably not. I'm a Chicago-based YouTube channel, but we'll see. We'll see if how much of, how much I can expand this YouTube thing. But um, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. I got to set up one more video for today for sure. I'll see if we'll do any others. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.